Shalom, this is David. And this is Jeff. And we are playing Soul Blazer, and I know since you guys missed the intro sequence so much, I decided to not make a movie that was too long for YouTube and let you guys see it. Ray, less editing for Jeff. <laughs> Yay! Um, this is part six, and I'm going to talk to some of the cute, adorable, furry, and winged, feathered uh, woodland creatures I've released. Animals, okay. Those things. So you're trying to say. I was, I was being locutious. Yes, you were being a Borg. <laughs> That's locutus. Okay. That's John Luke Picard. Were you, were, you tr were you trying to say the word loquacious? I've heard it pronounced locutious. Um, a again, a name of a Borg. That's locute anyway. I'm talking to a tree. He has different text, I d or different font. I don't know why. Basically, talk with the stump. Yep. Which that I seems very said. insensitive. <laughs> yeah. This is not handicap friendly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Talk to all the moles, they might help. <laughs> walk with the dog. Please, yeah. Come take a walk with me. Yeah, he doesn't say much right now because I haven't really released anybody. Anywho, <laughs> there's a graveyard. Twin brother is the island guard. He's still okay, that's weird. trapped in oblivion. Trapped in oblivion. How does he know he has a twin brother? Uh, you'd assume. What is the nature of the trapped souls, anyways? Uh, they are in a dark place. Yes, but they existed beforehand, so this is just sort of like enslavement from the bad guy, or... Yeah, pretty much. Satan, or whatever, basically just said, I don't like you, disappear, and God was like, nah-uh, and he sent me out there to, uh, to uh, you know, bring everybody back. So, okay. so yeah. So this isn't like, uh, like resurrecting in the sense that Illusion of, or Terra Enigma is, where you're actually rebuilding the world. No, Apparently the world was already there, yeah. and then and it Satan kind of broke. Satan went, <laughs> broke nope. it. Okay. And now I'm getting a. Uh, I got a new soul, and that was not the right button. That was not the right button. That was the same button. There's the new button. There's a different button. Was that a more soul? And I need next level at two thousand, and now I have the soul of magician and soul of light. Was that perhaps the mole mole's hole? We're not getting into this again. Okay, fine. <laughs> anyway, I'll move on. Tree is saying, uh, "How do trees know things?" Birds. I noticed tell that them. The, uh, the tree is talking quietly, with a small font. I don't know if it's talking quieter or talking like an ant and just being very slow. And maybe whatever. it's maybe it's just talking like nicer. It's a different font. Yeah, it's like just, it's a different dialect. They're older, so they're they're more civilized. And the birds just like, "Hey, we tell the trees stories, and they give us seeds. It's like we have a give and take, a symbiotic relationship, if you will." Yes. But yeah. Classic symbiosis. Symbiosis is a fun word. Yes. And a cool concept. And the other I fun <laughs> forms of symbiosis include commensalism and parasitism. Indeed. Those are fun. But uh, this isn't parasitism simply because, you know, the trees get something one, out one of it. One is not feeding off the life oh, force of the, the other. other. Yes, exactly. Um, and, uh, yeah. Gotta go back to where back I was. Back the water temple. Yeah. Gotta go back to where I was, because now I have the soul of light. And uh, in case you missed it earlier, I talked to a uh, squirrel in a tree who said, "If you, I will trade something if you bring me food, because I'm hungry." Because it's the great wood or greenwood squirrel exchange. Greenwood th squirrel exchange, which you think would mean well, that's off. That's off uh, Highway Six and. Uh yeah, yeah, you you just located us for people with uh, with. Uh, no, I located the squirrel exchange. I'm just okay. <laughs> That's where the squirrel exchange is. It, well, yeah. it happens to be in the northwestern side of Houston, Texas. That's that's true, but uh, and I get hit a lot because <laughs> ah, yeah, again, yeah, I hate the trees. Anyway, um, yeah, but the difference is the Houston Squirrel Exchange. You actually just buy squirrels. In uh, this, you don't. Actually, I didn't know. That. I've never actually been there. It's that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, you buy squirrels. And hey, now is it that you buy squirrels, or do you like use squirrels as like a form of currency? Uh, like trading. It's, it's a give and take. It's like trading in a car. So um, it's like you trade trade squirrels. Yes, pretty much. Now, would you do you trade like squirrels that were betrayed their kind? So you like trade trader? No, you don't trade trader with squirrels. the traders who uh, also might be traders. No, you see, you don't trade traders with you don't trade trader squirrels with other traders who might also be squirrels who are traders. What you do is you take a squirrel, you give them the squirrel, 
then they give you another squirrel, and at the same time, you're trying not to look them in the eye, because if you do, that's like offending their culture. Okay. All right. No, this makes sense now. You see, uh, while you're talking, I was actually drawing a diagram, and I think I figured it out. Now. You think you figured? It? Okay. Yeah. okay. That's that's actually a very detailed. Right now, diagram. I'm holding the diagram up to the microphone so that y'all can see it. Uh, those of you that are listening. Is that? How, how did you? Is that dot mate? How did you do that? Yeah, it's. I have a. Yeah, I have a. I installed a dot matrix printer into my stomach. That's very impressive. It, it's also extremely painful. Jeff is officially but a it makes, cyborg. But it makes an awesome sound. Can, can, can you no, make no, it? No, I'm no, I'm not going to reproduce the sound. Uh, that, that is actually offensive to me. So. Well, that, and cyborg kind in general. And cyborg kind in general. Um, yeah, so back to the game. <laughs> oh, we're playing. What are we? What? Soul what Blazer else? Part oh. Six. Oh, it's Soul Blazer Part Six. Okay, <laughs> right, right, that makes right. sense. And these enemies are one of my favorite kind, where you actually know exactly how many of them there are before you. Start. And they stand perfectly still and let you just slash at them until they die. Uh, well, they do shoot fireballs at you if you're too slow, which I think okay. I am with the next batch on one of them. Okay, so <laughs> you will of course get hit. Shut up. Now you're supposed to walk up to them to activate them, and they look different. Oh, that didn't. Okay, okay so the they, only, is, they only shoot down. Well, they'll shoot in a direction. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just down because I only. I think I only let that one get a shot off. I'm not 100%. All sure. right, inconclusive. Released another model. Hooray. I also released an alligator, which you use as bridges. That, I mean, that makes sense. Of course. Well, you can walk on them, so why not? Yeah. And as long as you're quick. And yeah. this is where I was like, okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Let's go up. Maybe I go up. Upstairs. Don't go upstairs. Stairs are bad yet. Right now. So it's like, hey, look, more... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! More face planting, ah! of course. Why? <laughs> All right. Hey, oh. that, that switch made a treasure chest appear. And this treasure chest gives us 50 gems. Not much, that, but... Yeah. That's... But now I have 444 gems, which is okay. a palindrome. Yes, okay. Because <laughs> you can do that with numbers. Yeah, okay. It's now, not a very creative one. Yeah, that was when I found out you can actually run into them when they're going invisible. Anywho, I released a deer and a stage. Yay. <laughs> if I release the other two members of the Woodston Trio... Which the Woodston is the, Trio. Which is the name of that group. I is will, that like a jazz combo? Uh, they do a dance. Okay. Uh, but if I release all of them... Now is it a dance or is it like a jig? It's them walking around in a creative circle. Okay. But so it's uh, more like modern dance. Yeah. In, in, that, that, in that it's not really dance at all. But they're your, for people still paying attention at home, they're your... Uh, I think it's very important to determine what kind of dance they're doing. Well, when we see the I wanna dance... Be, I want to we'll be properly prepared before I see it so that I know what to expect. You know what? I'm not going to spoil it for you. You're going to be shocked by the dance. All right. I'm, I'm planning on it being electrifying. Literally. Danger, danger. Hot voltage. Yes. Anyway, that's the path to get back. Uh, and if I go up, it's not going to let me I, go I up. expect maybe even some uh, inappropriate dancing, you uh, might say. They're, they're animals. Okay. You, they can't really like shake their fanny and, and you know do the the, the chest swingy thing. The, the chest swingy thing. Okay. If, if you could see me at home do the little motion, you know what I'm talking about. The chest swingy thing. It's universally known. We yeah, we're anyway. aware. Um, yeah. The 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 game does make it easy to backtrack. Anyway, once you release all three of those characters, they're the ones who give you the medical herb for this stage, so you don't have to go back to the other place. Anyway, give the delicious seed. D yeah, delicious seeds, not delicious nuts. To the squirrel, and he'll give me a sword for some seeds, which is an awesome trade and why I like dealing with uh, woodland creatures. Uh, that, that is a that is the ideal. Now I have the psycho sword. sword. <laughs> psycho sword does two sword worth of damage instead of one. <laughs> and yeah, that's the end of this part. So we will see you all in part seven when I kill more things and talk to more woodland creatures. Yeah, see ya. And boom and bye. Mole. <laughs>